Ah, that's better, okay. Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave, and I am your host for today, and today I am doing the first time face to camera thing, so I hope this goes well. If it does, and you like it, please, thumbs up. So today we're talking about Three Kings. Uh, it's got George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, and Ice Cube. Uh, it comes in a nice box, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Uh, basically, it's about a, uh, it's about the Gulf War, and uh, these sort of three soldiers, sort of, it's post Gulf War, and these three soldiers sort of wander off into the desert in order to search things, which I'll let you find out later on. But along the way, of course, mischief happens, and they get overrun by the uh, the locals and the uh, militia sort of people, and and one of the guys. Uh, on the uh, on here, he gets shot, and uh, along the way, they got to put this sort of little tube inside of him, his lungs, uh, to release the air pressure. If the air pressure, or the uh, pressure builds up in his lungs, and to in order to release the pressure, you got to or open the valve, and the air goes. Very good. Um, very nice film, actually. It's very uh, exciting. It's very. Uh, dramatic, it's very, it drags you in, uh, there's strong characters in this one. Ice Cube is not normally one you associate with a film, but he sort of really works well in it. I do actually enjoy his role, and the character he brings is quite amazing. Could be a music person and a rapper or some description. He uses that camera work, and he seems to have taken it quite easily. And of course, he's good at words, so he's able to memorize, memorize his lines a lot better. Um, it's really exciting, and uh, of course George Clooney's George Clooney, he brings a good part in it. He's a strong character, uh, and he doesn't take no for an answer, he'll always try and protect his soldiers first. And why not, if that's the sort of thing you can do, you can do it. So, uh, he's sort of the commander as such, um, uh, it's a really exciting thing. And Mark Wahlberg presents a good character as well, uh, the way that he, go, he goes around and brings that an attitude to I can do this as well, I'm just as good as you are and I know my job sort of thing. Um, of course what they're after is something quite high valued and you think something high valued you need more than three people to go after but because it's all hidden away and they think it's sort of uh, quite a sort of sly operation they thought they could try and get it but it finds it, you sort of find out that it doesn't quite always work the plan. But it's good sense of humour in film as well, and uh, it's like, almost like comic as well. I don't know why they would cross comedy with uh, such a good film like he is, but um, I doubt the scenery, the location, the clothing, the vehicles he used are all really good stuff, and uh, it brings it to uh, an overall fantastic little film. It's quite enjoyable actually, and uh, I highly do recommend it. So. Um, let's get a little close-up, shall we? And here you get to see the extra case close-up as well. It's uh, quite a, a, a lovely-looking uh, case as well that the uh, Essential War Collection of people who did at one point. Uh, I like the old silver-grey sort of vanny outside, nice silver box around it, you know, sort of Warner Brothers logo, and you get the picture on the inside. I think that's beautifully laid out. That, I, I wish they did more of these. Um, I'm not sure how many of the worst, but I got a couple. Um, and this is just one of them. I'm going to show you in a moment. Very nice. This is the uh, cardboard box. We've got the actual main box here. I'm going to show you the box to start with because it's just nice and easy. Exactly the same as the uh, uh, box. But the, the presentation of the box is absolutely fantastic. I, I just can't credit it enough. It is stunning. I like the side of it. You've got the Essential War Collection, Three Kings. That's all you really need. That is. Grey background, black writing, it's clear to see. You know you, it's got some quality put into it. It's a good feeling box as well. It's very sturdy, very strong, and it's a standout icon. So, let's chuck it on the floor and turn it on one side. And then look at the actual case itself. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's exactly the same as that box. That is fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, Three Kings, George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, and Ice Cube. Yes, the rapper Ice Cube does some acting in this film, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah. Um, so, you see in the front, let's have a look at the back. Again, nicely presented. This is how a case should look. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
It got the nice easy text on the side you can read, a couple of nice pictures, special features, and the bottom is exactly the same as the top. Grey, simple to see. You know you want to open one of these boxes, so let's zoom right in to special features. So, special features, which is grey on grey. Uh, not not really worth it, should have done it. Um, white writing or something, but still it looks alright. Audio commentary, behind the scenes documentaries, tour of Iraq village set, director's video journal, interview with Tom Siegel, TV spot, special photography, an intimate look inside the acting process of Ice Cube, and deleted scenes. The deleted scenes are very good. And actually, I have a little something there of Ice Cube does it well as well. That's quite a nice little add in there, nice bit of extras. Anyway, oh, Essential War Collection presents Absurdly comic, high kinetic, at times shockingly emotional. Three Kings begins when the Gulf War is over. Amid the party and confusion, four American soldiers um, determined to take home more than sand fleas go off in the Iraqi desert to find millions of stolen Kuwaiti bullion. Uh, they are plunged into the heart of the domestic uprising that spins the day and their lives out of control. David O. Russell's unique tapestry of humour, violence and history makes Three Kings absolutely unmissable. Well, that little bit there, absolutely unmissable, was by News of the World. And they have that correct. If you are watching this film in this box, you know it's unmissable. I reckon if you saw it in the original box, you might be able to miss it. But this one, stand out. Absolute stand out. Now, be, be, be shocked for what's inside though, okay? Um, it's not... What you think from a, a, a brilliant sort of box like this? Yeah, the, the disc is absolutely appalling. That is a shocking disc. Why would you put a clear, shiny disc on the inside of a box this beautiful? I do not know. The case, though, it's, it is sturdy. It is a nice bit of money gone to this case. If I got, yeah, I've gone out of way. Zoom out. The case is very sturdy. The disc, though, yeah, it's it's just poor. But it spins around so easy, though. It's nice. It's not why I really want a disc, but there. Anyway, very nice, though. Regardless, they really sort of simplified it. Going a bit, kind of done a picture on there, but no. Uh, very nice, though. I highly like it. And you can have it slide in with spine and spine. Or you can flip it round so when you open it you can see the uh, the back and front at the same time. You know, so when you do this you can have the spine in the case of the box there. Well, you can also film in the case there. But no, it's a very beautiful case. Absolutely stunning. And I'm going to leave it there. But no, overall it's a rather fantastic little film. And uh, it's pretty sort of Actually, I, I really do recommend this film to watch. So if you've not seen this yet, Comes in a spectacular box of Jonies, I know, and a great character, great cast, great scenery. Yeah, he's a winner, an absolute winner. So, Three Kings is for you, so, sorted. Nice. See you next time. Bye bye.